logarithmic equations. So we looked at exponential equations. Ones that have just exponential functions. Bad example, but anyway, stuff like that. Now we're going to look at equations that are logarithmic. They have logs in the equation. Okay. There's going to be two general types. One is either going to be a log equaling a log. Okay. And I'm going to show you how you get to this point here. Why? You don't have to. I mean, if you know this, it's awesome, but I'm not going to test you on it. So if I change this log to exponential form, I would get, and I'll write it up here, p is equal to b to the power of log base b of q, because this would be my exponent. So this b moves over and kicks that up. Okay, So we just changed it to exponential form. So everybody agree that's the same thing. Now, from our identities over there, if these bases match, what is it? It's just Q, right? So then you end up with P is equal to Q. Okay, that's how you get to that point. The shortcut is to just ignore the logs. If you have a log equaling a log, you just ignore the logs and you look at the arguments. You equate the arguments, okay? That's one type of equation we're going to look at. The other type is when you have a log equaling a number. This is a number. You change to exponential form. And I'll just say up here, Equate the arguments okay those are the only two types we will look at now they will come in all sorts of different shapes and sizes and we have to make them look like that before we can solve them are we okay can I move down okay so the first one, <clears throat> and they've solved a bit of it for us, which I hate, but that's okay. We have log base 5 of x plus 1 plus log base 5 of x minus 3 equals a number. So it's setting us up for the second type here. change this to log base 5 of x plus 1 times x minus 3. Okay, so we get to this point. This then matches this type of equation because it's a log, even though the argument is two binomials being multiplied together, doesn't matter, it's log of something equals a number. When you have that, you change to exponential form. So when you do that, the 5 moves over, kicks it up, and you get the argument equals 5 to the power of 1. Okay? From this point forward, it's basically math 11. And math 11 was all about quadratics, right? You just did quadratic, 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 and factoring, and blah, 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 blah. You know this is a quadratic because it's you're going to when you multiply this out when you foil it out you're going to get an x squared uh, minus three x plus x minus three is equal to five. Okay, so you know when you're multiplying an x times an x you're going to get a quadratic. It is a quadratic. Collect your like terms. X squared minus two x minus three is equal to 5. Now, how do you solve for, how do you solve quadratics? There's one thing you do all the time, over and over and over again. 
before you factor, you have to get everything to one side. It has to equal zero. Okay, so I'm going to move the five over. Negative three minus five is negative eight, and it all equals zero. Then you factor it. Okay. So what multiplies the negative four and adds to negative two? Negative mul multiplies the negative eight and adds to negative two. Negative four and positive two. So it becomes x minus four, x plus two. Okay. How do I solve this now? What is x equal? Just look at each bracket. What makes the first bracket zero? Four. What makes the second bracket zero? Negative two. So x is four and negative two. Okay. Does anybody see some issues with this? What numbers are you not allowed to log? Negatives. Now, you can't just look at the negative two and say, oh, we're going to throw that out. You have to check it. Okay. So you go back to the original. Check. If I put four into this, four plus one, is that five? Or I just told you. That's a positive number, right? You can log a positive number. I don't care what the answer is. Four minus three is one. You can still log one. It's zero, but who cares? Negative two. So hang on. Um, yeah, four is fine. Negative two. What's negative two plus one? Negative one, right? So I would get... I'll do the other one as well. Yeah, I'm, you don't have to write this out. You just have to look at it, and you can do it in your head. And if you get a negative, that is not a valid answer. So the number that produced that, negative 2, please throw out. So, produces negative in the log, therefore, does everybody know what three dots means? Is it therefore? Okay. Therefore, ignore. So, x equals four only. That's the only answer is four. Okay, negative two is an invalid answer or an extraneous root or answer. Extraneous solution. Okay, so you have to check whenever you do things like this, whenever you generate a quadratic and you get two answers, you must check your answers. Okay, to make sure that it doesn't produce a negative number. What's up? Okay. All right. Always check your answers because if you write four negative two, I'm going to take a mark off because it's not technically right. You have to just say it's only four, ignore the negative two. Okay, are we okay? Flip to two pages. Flip the page. We're not doing that. These guys, page 299. Okay. So, first one, A here. <clears throat> what do I need to do? It's all logs. So, it's going to match the first one here. Okay, log equaling a log. That's what we need to get it to. But there's more than one log here. So, there it is. What do I need to do with those two logs? What can I do with them? Put them together, right? If they're being subtracted and they have the same base, do they have the same base? Yes. What can you do with the arguments? Divide them. So it becomes 
log base 4 of x plus 1 over 2x minus 3 equals log base 4 of 8. Okay. I have log equaling a log. Bases are the same. What do I do? Lose the logs, and it's just the arguments you have to look at. So then it's just x plus 1 over 2x minus 3 is equal to 8. And then you algebra it. So x plus 1 is equal to 8 times 2x minus 3. In x minus 24 so it reduces to five over three. What do you need to do? You need to check it. You can just do it quickly in your head. Five thirds plus one, is that going to be positive or negative? Positive, so that's good. Five thirds times two. Three times five thirds. How do you multiply fractions? To the top, right? So it's like two over one. That's 10 over 3. 10 over 3 minus 3. 10 over 3 bigger than 3. That's really what you have to ask yourself. It is. You can do it on a calculator. It is. Therefore, it'll be a positive number in there somewhere here. This is a legit answer. And your only answer. Okay? Is it good? All right. Next one. Uh... What do I do? What do you what type of problem is it setting up? We had those two types at the beginning. We had log equals log, and we had log equals number. What is this going to set up as? Which one of those? Log equals log. I'm going to give that. Okay, so we have just a regular old number. So what I want to do is make it log equals number. So I want to move this log over here. Okay, so let's subtract it over here. We're going to add it to the other side. So I'm going to get log 6 of x plus 4 plus log 6 of x plus 3. Equals one. All right. What now? That's the only thing you can do. Can't get rid of the logs yet, right? You have to make it a single log equaling a number. We have two logs. How do I make two logs into one log? Multiply the arguments. So it's log six. Okay, hey, what uh, do I do? When you have log equaling a number, what do you do? What does the front page say? Today? T 
change to exponential form. So the 6, the base moves over, and I get x plus 4, x plus 3 is equal to 6, or 6 to the power of 1 if you want. Now what? Almost done. Still, we have one tiny question after this. What do I do? Foil it, multiply it. So I get x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 6. What type of question is that? Quadratic. How do you solve quadratics? Get everything to one side, set it equal to zero. So move the six over. 12 minus six is six. Next step. Factor it. X plus three, X plus two. No, it's not, it's X plus six and X plus one, wow. What are my answers? Negative six and negative one. What do you have to do? Check, which one doesn't work? Negative six doesn't work. Therefore, X. Do we know why negative six? Do we understand why negative six doesn't work? It's very important. You put negative six plus four, you get negative two, right? So that turfs it. But negative one, negative one plus four, that's positive three, that's fine. Negative one plus three, it's positive two, that's fine as well. Okay? All right, last question. I'm not doing this one. Yeah, we're not doing this. Doing this one. <sighs> log two of log x of three x plus four is equal to one. Okay. There's a log inside of a log. All right. So the person that wrote this question is stupid. Who would want to do that? All right. However, actually it's simple to solve. Because really, it's a log equaling number. How do we solve logs equaling numbers? Exponential. So, start on the outside. Ignore all this. Log 2 of block equals 1. Convert to exponential. This 2 moves over to here, right? You're left with all of this stuff just stays there. And you get that. Two to one, just two. All right, now I have more of a general equation that we've been dealing with. Log equals a number. How do you solve it? I just did it. Convert to exponential, you just do it again. All right, so the x moves over, and the two becomes your exponent. So you get. x squared. What type of question is that? Quadratic. How do you solve quadratics? Everything to one side. What side are you going to move stuff to? This is actually somewhat important. The right side. You want to keep the x squared positive. Okay? So we're going to get 0 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4. You can move the x squared over, then you're going to have to factor out a negative or it's going to look all backwards, okay? So it's simpler if you just move it to the other side. Uh, what multiplies to negative 4 and adds to negative 3? 
Negative four, positive one. So what does x equal? Am I done? And if you say no, okay, check. Which one gets thrown out? Or do any of them get thrown out? None of them get thrown out? 100% sure about that? Hmm? <laughs> okay, you're right in that if I put a four into here, right? Positive. If I put a negative one into there, positive. Is there another X that I have to check? The base. What does the base have to be? has to be positive. You can't have a negative base. So you have to ignore this one because the base can't be negative. Or x equals 4. Okay, we are done for the day. I will say know how to do a question like that. Not necessarily the negative base, you got to throw it out, but how to double uh, like a log inside of a log. I could give you like seven logs, a log of a log of a log of a log. You just keep changing to exponential form. And you have to make that little head dog jog when you do it. No. You guys look unimpressed with me today. Um, okay, here's the questions you're doing. Let's do numero uno. One to three. One to four, please. Sorry. Numbers one to four. Tomorrow, I have one more question from this one, this lesson, and then we're going to do look at some word problems. But I'm going to start the class with a review of everything we've done so far. And I'm, we're only going to do one type of word problem because I don't want to overwhelm you. And we've go, been going pretty fast here. So uh, your test is on.